You ever get an email blast with a high MOQ? I suggest staying away from it, and this is why. So here's the product, 779 units available, price is 155, Amazon link. Let's jump into it. So this email was sent on October 4th. Here's October 5th. It's listed at 249.99. You pop over the data, check out the buy box statistics. You realize in the past 30 days, Amazon is getting 70% of the buy box, which isn't a problem. We make a lot of money on listings that Amazon's on the buy box on. This is where the problem pops up. So you look at it, you're like, wow, it's selling 6,300 units a month. You plug in your price, you realize you're making $29 on it, 12%. You're like, wow, this is amazing. I'm gonna get this product, but let's pop it to the variation tab. Variation, this is the one we're looking at, ends in HCO, it's getting 0.3 of the reviews, 0.3% of the rating, so you'd assume it's getting less than 1% of the total 6,300 units that this listing is expected to sell. So everybody bought it here, assuming it's gonna crush. Little did they know it sells 20, 30 units a month, so everybody's dropping the price now. It's at 199, you plug 199 in here and you're actually losing $15 instead of making 30 bucks. So you purchase 100 units, think you're gonna make 3,000 bucks, but now you lost 1,500 because you don't understand the keep of data, you can't read a keep of chart, you have no idea about variation listings, you can't read the buy box statistics, you have no idea about product research at all. So instead, let me teach you the same way I train my buyers to crush wholesale orders. Send me a DM, I'll get you set up. Stay lit.